So this lesson is on histograms. A histogram is very similar to a bar graph, but in a histogram there are a couple of differences. Um, typically here, this is where our ranges will go. So we just talked about histograms. This one, the range was just one in each range, really. Um, but the notice that the bars here are touching, and there's no space in between down here. So no space in the intervals, no space between the bars, etc. So let's talk about how to create a histogram using this data. Again, for the bottom here, I'm going to go from 0 to 3. So this whole range from here is 0 to 3. This would be 4 to 7. Notice I'm labeling those spaces instead of just a line. I'm trying to make them all the same length. This would be 8 to 11. This would be 12 to 15. And this would be 16 to 19. For my frequencies, I need to go all the way up to 8. And notice I have also added some labels, a title, and labels on each side. And now I'm going to create my histogram. 0 to 3 had a frequency of 2, and so that's going to go all the way over to that bar. 4 to 7 had a frequency of 3, so that's all the way here. Notice those bars are touching. 8 to 11, there were 8 people who answered that way. 12 to 15 again was 3, and 16 to 19 was 2. So our frequency table created the numbers that we would use for our histogram. So notice this is the same frequency table we used before. I didn't keep the middle column in because it was just tallies, so I used the frequency and the same ranges that I used before. Using our other data, um, please go ahead and create a histogram. So I've set up my title and my labels. I've set up my ranges on the bottom. I didn't have room to write all of that, so I just said 0 to 5, knowing that if it was 5, it would go into the 5 to 10 bracket. And now I'm going to create my frequency table. The first one is 3, then 5. Again, way easier to do with a computer, or at least with graph paper. 3, 1, 0, and 1. So it is important to leave that space so we know that there were no people who traveled 25 to 30 miles.